This is my Ava Croco 14 inch bag in the color light beige. All of their handbags are made in Italy and these are all premium leather. Welcome back to my channel. If you guys are new here, hello, my name is Sering and if you guys are returning subscribers, then welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me again. So today's video is going to be super duper fun because I'm going to be showing you guys what I have, what I carry in my bag. Um, so I've been wanting to do this video for a while now, so I figured I'd just change up the content a little bit. Before we start with the video, can we just take a moment of silence to embrace the beauty of my bag? How gorgeous is my bag? I absolutely love it. So this handbag is from Teddy Blake. I've worked with them before. So this is my Ava Croco 14 inch bag in the color light beige. Um, if you guys are interested in purchasing the same bag, I will go ahead and put the link down in the description box below. I have so many handbags and most of them are all black like I would say 99% of my handbags and purses are all black so I wanted to change it up a little bit step out of the comfort zone so this is the bag that I picked out I mean I love the detail on this bag it's absolutely gorgeous and it's a pretty big bag for somebody like me who likes to dump a lot of stuff inside my bag um, so I've had this bag for over a month and a half now um, and I have been just loving my bag so I usually carry my handbag like this on the handle but it does come with your strap if you wanted to kind of hang it over your shoulder so it does come with your matching straps and these go on the top here let me just demonstrate it you can carry your bag like this on the shoulder but I like more of the carry my bag on my wrist kind of a deal and this is their newest arrival on their website they do have other different colors there's a darker tan brown there's a black um, I was really really leaning towards the black and the gold um, because that's my favorite color black and gold but I'm so glad I picked out the light beige because this is such a beautiful color I mean it's so exotic and it looks very very rich the quality is phenomenal and I actually do have another bag from uh, Teddy Blake a red satchel and I love it all of their handbags are made in Italy and these are all premium leather they have so many more designs on their website and they have so many different colors as well and uh, literally I would say that these bags are so luxurious and affordable as well um, so I will go ahead and leave my coupon code down in the description box below if you guys are interested in any of the bags make sure to click on the link that I have down below and add the discount code so you guys can get a little bit more discount so this is my baby right here oh and it does have a zipper on the back here so let's go ahead and see what I've got in my bag. And this is a pretty decent size bag inside. It holds a whole lot of stuff. I mean, you guys can see that it's just filled with stuff in here. Let's go ahead and see what we've got here. So the first thing that I have here in my bag is my hand sanitizer. I'm pretty sure everybody's handbags are filled with hand sanitizer. Mine just happens to be a really, really big bottle. Um, and I kid you not, guys, I think I paid $15 for one of these bottles. And I went to the store twice to get four bottles. So this was the beginning of the pandemic, okay? Everything was freaking expensive and I didn't have hand sanitizer and I just needed to get what I could get. Um, so this is uh, from the company Raw Sugar. Um, and this is their coconut and lemon verbena and I love the smell of this hand sanitizer. It smells so freaking amazing. I have one in my bag and then I also have one in the Jeep. So the second thing that I have here is some Wet Ones antibacterial wipes. 
again the pandemic has made everybody so obnoxious um, so I'm pretty sure everybody has some sort of uh, antibacterial wipes in their handbag as well so I've got this wet ones and I think I got this from Walgreens and the next thing that I have here is my actual wallet I got this from Aldo I don't really carry anything important in my purses anymore because I um, have my phone that already has the slots where I can put my ID and my credit card and whatnot so I usually don't carry anything in here and I recently did clear out my bag because my bag was just overfilled with receipts um, obviously Target's gonna be there because who doesn't go to Target like every other week or every two weeks vitamin shop I probably got pre-workout and uh, protein powder yes I did and we shouldn't have spent that much money at vitamin shop but we did we're just gonna toss that and then I have another receipt here from my for my gym membership burrito spot <laughs> This was probably breakfast. Oh no, it was actually for extra salsa. They charged me 35 cents each for two extra salsas. Like they just couldn't give me two extra salsas, huh? Actually, I forgot to tell you guys. The first thing that I probably will have in my bag is my phone. Okay? This is my phone. Uh, this is the 11 Max Pro. I got it the same week that it launched because I wanted to get this brand new phone so I have that and then um, I have my uh, phone wallet it is a magnetic case so I really really love that next thing that I have here is brushing cleansing hemp wipes and I usually carry my Neutrogena facial wipes to remove my makeup most of the times I don't really wear makeup unless I'm filming or if I'm going out so most of the times um, I am makeup free so I still like to keep makeup wipes because I just want to like wipe off any sweat and dirt and the other thing that I have here is my portable charger now this is a must-have in my bag because I use my phone quite frequently and I don't ever want to be stranded or lost and not have a source of power to charge up my phone so that's one of my biggest fear I just don't like the idea of not being able to reach somebody or for somebody else to reach me because they would be such a panic um, so I do have a um, portable charger and it is fully packed and it does have three different types of charger um, slots in here it works really really great I got this from Amazon next thing that I have here is some pens this is the uniball pen um, and I actually got this from a lady at my dermatologist she had this pen and I had to sign some paperwork. This is a really nice pen. Can I have it? <laughs> well, I didn't say can I have it. I just asked her like, what pen is this? I really want to get it. And then she was like, why don't you just take it? And I was like, oh, thank you. So I have this pen and I have bought a big pack of it. And the second pen that I have is also another Uniball. This is the Vision Uniball Fine Pen. And this is a blue pen. And this is also one of my favorite, favorite pen. I probably also grabbed this from somebody else's office. I don't know. I take pens, okay? If the pens are nice, I just ask them and I take it. And that's that to that story. The next thing that I have here is my pocket knife. Um, and I actually collect these pocket knives. Um, yeah, I am a weird breed. Um, so I love these switch knives and I don't know why I love them. I think I've had an obsession since I was a kid. Um, I think my dad used to have the the switch knife that had a whole lot of like stuff in the knife. It was like really tactical and it's like a red with like silver and I'm pretty sure somebody is following along with me in this conversation. I feel like every girl should carry a knife with them just for safety's sake and then you know you never know when you just want some smoke yeah and it's pretty dang sharp because I've used this a few times when I went camping so don't test me boo the next thing that I have here in this bag is some gums everybody should carry gums in their bag and their purses because you never know when you like meet somebody and their breath kind of stank the best if they're their breast if their breath is a little bit crispy I'm just gonna pop one of these do you want one 
Are you sure? Here, one have one. That's how you wanna be slick. My keys. Y'all probably gonna wonder why the heck do I have this many keys? I can literally fight up with this key. But yeah, I have a whole bunch of keys here. I got my keys to my Jeep, keys to my house, keys to the office, keys to everything. So I can't leave anywhere without this. Okay, so the next thing that I have here is dry shampoo. I never knew how much I needed dry shampoo till I like cut my hair off. Now I feel like I my hair gets oily and like greasy so so quick. I have to have dry shampoo. This is the Eva NYC dry shampoo and it smells so freaking bomb as well. So that's why I have this. Okay, so the next thing that I have in here is a whole lot of lip glosses. Like a girl didn't need this many lip glosses in her bag. Like literally. Jesus. If I'm not wearing matte lipstick, um, and I usually only wear like dark lipsticks. Um, if I'm not wearing lipstick, I always wear lip gloss because I like my lips to be juicy. Okay, nobody wants a crusty ass lips walking around thinking that she's a shit. So, lip glosses. I have so many lip glosses here, like it's ridiculous. Um, this is probably just a few of them in the bag. <laughs> um, so. Two of the lip glosses that I have here is from Maybelline New York, the shade Topaz, which has a little bit of like glitter, like some iridescent glitter in here. And the stone is just a really, really beautiful um, lip gloss. Like it's so beautiful. It almost matches the skin tone of my lips. And it smells so freaking good as well like really really good it's a very very natural um, looking lip gloss and the next two lip glosses I have here is from a revolution the makeup revolution and I have the pout bomb here the plumping lip gloss with vitamin E um, and this is in the color or the shade glaze this is just a clear lip gloss and it does have a plumping effect and it does smell a little bit minty so I really really like this um, and then the second one that I have here is their shimmer bomb this definitely reminds me of the Fenty lip glosses this particular one the starlight that I have has such a nostalgic smell like this is a smell that I have smelt since I was a kid I can't remember what it is but it has this really really nostalgic smell to this lip gloss and I like it. I really, really like it. And it's just a really nice um, sheen with a little bit of glitter. So your lips look fabulous and juicy with these. I have my Brazilian Bum Bum Creams. I love the smell of these creams. I believe I picked these um, out from Ulta. I think um, so this is the coca cabana and this is the Brazilian bum bum cream I love the smell of these creams they're very very tropical and it's very very hydrating next thing that I have here is a nail filer because <laughs> you know your nails need to be like nice and clean next thing that I have here is my perfume and this is from dossier this is their oriental one I love the smell of this and this is a perfect dupe for the Yves Saint Laurent black opium I love the smell of this I can just drench in this all the fragrances are really really affordable it's just $29 and you can find so many different dupes for designer fragrances so if you guys are interested I will go ahead and put the link in the description below the next thing that I have here is some um, antihistamine because I do get some occasional flare-ups with my allergies but the next thing that I have here is my glasses my prescription glasses and these glasses are from firmu.com I do have a coupon code for you guys if you guys want to buy some inexpensive prescription glasses and not break the bank. They have some beautiful selection of glasses on their website. The next thing that I have here is a random blush. And this is the ColourPop Super Shock Cheek Blush in Stop It. I think this was the Bretman Rock Collection. Why did I just sniff this? Yeah, this was the Bretman Rock Collection. Um, of blush that I got a long time ago 
and it's a really nice blush it has a really really nice like a peachy undertone um, and I'm not too fond of wearing blushes too much this is a very very nice subtle like you know a little rosy cheek kind of a deal <laughs> so that's that so the next thing that I have here is some Mexican candies Vero Mango I'm pretty sure a lot of you have had this really really bomb so I also have a whole lot of um, hair ties and now that I've cut my hair I actually don't have that much hair tie um, as I used to let's see how many we've got one two three four five we only have five hair ties next thing that I have here is eyelash glue duo eyelash glue this is the shit and then the next thing that I have here is super glue for my nails and right now currently I have my poly gel nails that I did I always keep this on deck because I do wear press-on nails and I don't want to ever like have to have a situation where my nails just like plops out and I have to walk with like four freaking fingernails. So the only makeup product that I have besides the lip gloss is a translucent powder. This is from Makeup Revolution. It's actually pretty good. I think these are only like $8 or $10. I don't really carry mascaras or foundation, concealer, or any of that jazz because I don't care for it. The only thing I need is some lip gloss and some translucent powder so that way I don't have an oily face. So translucent powder okay so the last two things that I have here is of course my airpods um, and it is dead so that's that and the last thing that I have in my bag here is a lip balm and I got this when I went to the spa I went to Ojo and I got this because they have this little gift area section where you can get goodies and I got it from there because I just love the packaging. So that is everything in my bag. Uh, oh wait, I do have one more spot here. Oh! Oh! <laughs> I'm rich. I am $220 richer. Oh, and I have a bank deposit slip. Probably won't show you guys, but she's booked and busy and um, making money. Just two random alcohol swabs. And I've got a stack of bandages. So those are all the things that I had in my bag. I hope you guys found this video interesting. Talking about just random stuff that's in my bag. That is going to be it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys like this video. If you guys want to follow me on my Instagram or my TikTok, it is at alpha.sherpa. I will go ahead and put it down in the description box below. So until I see you guys next time, take care.